The Bearcat football team traveled to Grove City for a conference matchup against the Wolverines. St. Vincent came out strong on its opening drive. First and 10, St. Vincent. Twins to the right with a tight end, also to the right. Smetanka looking right, throws on the screen to Duffy, and he's across the 45, the 40. And he spins his way down to the 41, or 36-yard line, excuse me, of Grove City. Matt Duffy, the freshman, sort of an inside screen from the outside wide receiver. Again, a second down and nine at the uh, Grove City 35. Flanker to the right and left, two tight end, single back. Era takes it and bounces right, foot race to the corner, 30. Hurdles over him and gets a first down to the 25 and to the 24-yard line. A high-jumping Huey Errett for first down. Aaron Palmieri on the tackle after the 11-yard pickup. Twins to both sides. Sidecar to the left, Dimitri Edwards. Matanka out of the shotgun. June motions to the right. Screen set up, left side, caught by Edwards. Cuts in. He's at the 15. He'll fight his way to the 10, take a tackler to the 9 for a first down. Dimitri Edwards, the freshman from Charleroi. A strong finish to that. Ben in the middle of the field, moving right to left. Backs in the eye. Yezovic and Eric. Smetanka at the 10. Second down goal. Back to pass. Looking left side, throws Douglas with the catch at the five. Spins, hit, dives forward. He'll be close to the one-yard line. It'll be third and goal there. Eric or Kill will be the tailback. Weaver and Yezovic, the upbacks. Powell Rice set. Douglas split to the left. Tight end to the right. Crab motion for Weaver. Smetanke fakes to Kale, throws right. Weaver's open. Pass is low. Weaver makes a good catch for a touchdown. To second touchdown catch of the season for Scott Weaver, and it's 6-0 Bearcats. Early in the second quarter, the Grove City offense came to life. And the inside of the receiver, the right, Bailey motions to the left, bringing twins to both sides. Pell looking, throwing in traffic, caught by Richie at the five, and he's knocked down as he gets to the two. It'll be first and goal for Grove City. Brian Pell. Uh, in the holes of the defense. Hand off to Miller, and they snapped it quick. Straight ahead, Blaine Miller for a Grove City touchdown. The Cats were still moving around on defense. and With a score tied at 7, Huey Eric kept the ball moving for SVC. Started 7 of 8. Has his short touchdown pass here today. Hands to Eric up the middle. Big seam, 45-50. And he heads left. And he's tackled as he gets to the 45-yard line by Devlin. Huey actually ran into Devlin. I think he was expecting he was going to get in front of him quicker and was going to cut outside of him, but he actually ran right into him. Slot right to the wide side. Hand off to Eric again, bouncing it right. Turns it up 40. Back out to the 35, the 30, and slashes his way down to the 27-yard line for another first down. The Bearcats eventually drove to the three-yard line, but the drive ended with an interception in the end zone by Grove City's Aaron Palmieri, and the game remained tied at seven. Later in the second quarter, the hosts took the lead. Pell, shotgun snap, has its steps, throwing for the end zone. Richie makes the catch at the two, fights his way forward, and he's in. Anthony Richie. Midway through the third quarter, Grove City drove 60 yards in six plays to extend their lead to 21-7. On the ensuing drive, the Bearcats moved the ball downfield quickly. Upset to the left. Kale remains the tailback. Smetanka fakes to Mike. Back to pass. Looking, throwing. Open Marlowe makes the catch at the 20. Coming left side to the 15. And they'll be out of bounds inside the 15-yard line for a first down. Deep in the red zone, the Wolverine defense came up with a big stop on fourth and one. I think he got it. He had to get to the five, and he got very close. It wasn't much. Now we got a right foot spot, so he has a chance. Uh, <laughs> wow. That's going to be real close. They're going to have to bring the chains across. The ball's on the near hash. The chains are all the way across the field. They gave it the other way. They did not get it. Midway through the fourth quarter, the Bearcats closed the gap. The tight end to the left, two receivers wide to the left, and Douglas to the right. Smetanka rolls left. Going to pitch on a reverse to Marlowe. Coming back to the right. He turns the corner at the 15, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, St. Vincent. Jarris Marlowe on the reverse. On the yeah, good call, good setup on that play. Uh, he had the nice wall set up for the for Jarris on the ver reverse, and he just beat everyone to the pylon. With less than two minutes remaining, however, Grove City's Kurt Devlin came up with his third interception of the day, ending the Bearcats' comeback attempt.